Let's make our 72 hour fermented dough. A couple things you're gonna need for equipment. You need a bowl, we need a digital scale because we need to measure our ingredients in weight. We need our flour, salt, water, and yeast. I'm gonna measure my flour out first and we measure 1,100 grams. Now we've got our yeast and I've got active dry yeast. A lot of people are gonna ask, this is fine. This is called Fleshman's and we use uh, about two grams, which has been pre-measured with my micro scale. It, uh, it measures in by the hundredth of a gram. We take all of our dry ingredients and our salt, which is about 38 grams, and literally dump them into the bowl. And our yeast. You need your whisk. And we just essentially whisk the dry ingredients together. That's it. Now we need our water, and we have 780 grams of water we're dumping right in. Now I'm gonna mix that with a spoon. And all we're doing is I'm just literally taking this, trying to incorporate all the ingredients together. And now I'm gonna remove this from the bowl, and we're gonna knead this for about two to three minutes. Critical time. I'm gonna need a rubber spatula. These are great, come in really handy. Cause see that dough that's stuck in the bowl? These just kind of scrape the sides beautifully. Now comes the work, the effort. I'm gonna knead this dough for literally um, probably three minutes. And what I'm trying to do is just squish. I'm squishing it out, kind of squish all these like dry clumps of flour, right? into one big mass. So we just knead. And this is like, a, this is one of those zen moments where we just kind of work on our stress level a little bit. Just playing with dough. And that's it. Now I'm gonna take this dough, I'm gonna place it back into the bowl, just like this, right? Now I'm gonna cover this dough for literally 24 hours. And this is called a bulk fermentation. If I don't have a lid, what I'm gonna use is some saran wrap, a, a damp cloth, and basically make this airtight. We'll come back tomorrow, and we'll take the next step. 24 hours later, we got what we call a bulk ferment. This dough is literally doubled in size from where it was. I'm gonna open this up, and you're gonna smell the alcohol. Boom, it's gonna literally hit me in the face. Oh, it's amazing, that smell. And next what we're gonna do is remove this from the bowl and we're gonna divide it up, make our dough balls and put it in the fridge to actually slow the fermentation process down for two more days. All right, so to remove it, I literally just flour my workstation a little bit and now I'm gonna remove it. And these things come in handy again, these spatulas. And we're gonna divide this up to about, I like about 240 grams, makes a really nice individual pizza. Let's see if I can get it right on the money. Watch this. Watch this, everybody. 249. I was off by nine. To make a dough ball, we're gonna flour up our, our workstation, take this piece of dough, and lightly coat both sides. Okay, so now I pick this dough up. I'm gonna fold it in half, just like this. And then I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. I'm gonna massage my fingers in one more time, just like this, very lightly. I don't wanna stretch it too much. And I wish you could touch my hands. I'm not like making big fists. I'm gently, gently pressing. And I do this 16 to 18 times. I turn 90 degrees, I stick my fingers in. I'm literally just massaging the dough. It's probably been about 30 seconds, 15 to 18 times. It's nice and taut. I'll put that smooth side into my hand. I'm gonna pinch this seam very aggressively. I just wanna essentially make this dough enclosed. And we got our dough ball. Next, I take a deli. This is a two cup deli, lightly olive oil at the bottom. And that's gonna help the dough release. I'm not adding any flavor. That's not what we're using it for. Just to help it release. Put the seam side down, just like this. Close it up. And then I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for 48 hours and then we'll have our 72-hour dough on Friday night.